What's going on guys? Dave Mate. Drinking some Yerba Mate. Uh, it's been over seven years now. Just keep on drinking this stuff. Can't get enough of it. Some people think I'm addicted. Some people think I'm crazy. Some people think I'm a fanatic. Some people think I'm just out there in the world, up in the stars, up in the sky. It's true. You know why? Because I love this stuff. I drink it every single day, at least one to two liters every single day. I feel great, I swear by it, I'm a walking, living testimonial for Yerba Mate. Uh, whether I have a Yerba Mate business or not, I would still be drinking this stuff every single day because I just feel good, gives me power, gives me sharp, clear thoughts, makes me feel strong, gives me endurance of my physical body, of my mental and psychological body as well. So I love your Yerba Mate, can't get enough of it guys. Uh, check me out, circleofdrink.com. YerbaMateLand.com. That's where we actually sell Yerba Mate, talk about Yerba Mate, publish all sorts of information on Yerba Mate, Yerba Mate communities, uh, Yerba Mate on Facebook.com. Just check out Circle of Drink on Facebook. Find us. So let's get into it, guys. Let me prepare a gourd. Now, don't be scared. For those of you guys who are watching this for the first time, just finding out about Yerba Mate, you may have seen something like this already. This is called a Yerba Mate Gourd. It's essentially a wooden vessel, or sometimes it's made out of a squash plant, or metal, or ceramic, or glass, what have you. You add the herb inside of this vessel, and then you get a straw called a bombisha. Yes, I pronounce it bombisha because I lived in Argentina for several years, and that's the Spanish that I learned. That's the Spanish that I speak and love. And we say bombisha, but everywhere else in the world usually says bomba or bombilla. You put that in here, has a filter at the end. Stick it on one side. You get yourself some hot water. One, two, three. Uno, dos, tres. Put it in there and you just drink it like this all day long. Now, that's the most traditional way of drinking your mate. You don't have to drink this way. I just drink this way because I love it. It's fun. Got the herb in there. You know, I'm working all day. Put this in. Drink all day. Have energy all day. That's fine. You can make your mate just like green tea. Just like coffee, use a French press, use a teapot, use a tea infuser, use a percolator, use anything you want. Simply just get uh, a pot, throw the pot on the stove, throw the herb in there, let the water get really hot, not boiling. Mix it around for 15 minutes and get a pasta strainer or some sort of baking strainer or sift. Put that through, boom, there you go, your mate. Now... Today's video is about bitterness. I've addressed this already in the past, uh, but I want to readdress it. Why not? So, uh, yesterday somebody wrote me an email. They said, Dave, I love your bomate, but, um, well, they said that I want to love your bomate, but it's so bitter that I just can't love it. And I told this person, I said, listen, there's one of three scenarios that usually happen when someone starts drinking your bomate. Some person will start drinking your mate, love it right away. Boom, they love it. They love the bitterness. They love the feeling. Great. Another person may start drinking your mate and they're just kind of on the fence. They're just like, oh, I'm not so sure about this herb. I don't know. And then there's another person who absolutely hates it. They don't like the taste. Okay. Now for the last person that absolutely hates your mate, I've seen this happen so many times. Don't ask me how it works. I don't know. That person will come back to your mate after a week or a month or even a year later. The herb calls them back. They start drinking it again. And all of a sudden, they love it. All of a sudden, the bitterness isn't bitter anymore. They just love it. My theory is this, without getting too long-winded here, is that the spirit, the mind, the whatever you want to call it, that's beyond this physical body, but yet a part of this physical body, has a way of rearranging your own physical. So, for instance, you may hate it at first, but the mind doesn't hate it. The mind is saying, well, there's... Calm down, Dave. There's so many good things in this herb. You know, keep on drinking it. Keep on trying it. And then all of a sudden, little by little, you start to love the herb. You start to love your bromate. It's not bitter anymore in the sense that you don't like it. You actually come to appreciate that bitterness. But this video is for everybody else who wants to get into your bromate, but there's a barrier of the bitterness. Well, what I want to tell you today is don't worry. All you have to do is get some other herbs that I'm going to show you in a second, such as mint, uh, citrus herbs, uh, citrus fruits such as uh, lemon peel, orange peel, sage, which is related to mint. These herbs cut right through the bitterness. 
Now, some of you may be worrying because you may say, well, if I mix the mate with these other herbs, I'm going to lose the health benefits of, of the mate. I'm going to dilute the mate. No, 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 no. Okay, guys, herbs don't work in a vacuum. Plants do not work in a vacuum. What do I mean by that? I mean that if you were to really look at it in a broad, broad perception, okay, and not just focus on the power of the mate, but focus on the power of these other herbs that could help yerba mate. So, for instance, yerba mate has many antioxidants, tons of different antioxidants. You could read my book about that, Mateology, or just do some Google searches. And then so does mint, so does sage. So does, so does uh, uh, citrus fruits, so does moringa. When you mix these herbs with mate, you're not necessarily diluting the power of the mate. Yes, in one respect, you may be diluting the strength that you're going to get. But actually, my personal take on it is that you're actually enhancing the power of the mate in many ways because you're bringing in all these other antioxidants, vitamins, uh, polyphenols, compounds, uh, different sorts of acids, you're mixing them together with the power of the mate and you're creating synergistic effects. That's what I mean when I say herbs and vitamins and polyphenols and compounds and xanthines. These things don't work in vacuums. When we extract them and isolate them and put them in concentrated form in pills, that's another story. I don't want to go off on that. But when we talk about whole herbs, yerba mate, mint, peppermint, spearmint, moringa, maca, cacao, you name it, and you intelligently blend these with mate, why not? We have a synergistic effect. And we also take out the whole bitterness aspect in many ways, if that's what you're seeking. So today, I just want to make a little video talking about a few herbs that I use to deal with the whole bitterness. Even though I love the bitterness, I also love blending yerba mate. As you can see from circledrink.com, we have something like I don't know, 15, 20 blends of yerba mate over the past seven years uh, that were produced, and we love them. People love them. They say they're the best blends in the world. Uh, thank you for that, guys. I appreciate that. Uh, so let's get into it, guys. I don't want to go too crazy with this video. I just kind of want to get back into making videos, keep on moving forward with the education, keep on moving forward with the teaching of yerba mate, because yerba mate, let's face it, those of you who know, it's, it's the future. I'm still so shocked that not everyone's drinking your mate. I'm shocked. This sounds like a sales pitch, I know, but this is just the truth. Like I said, if I wasn't selling mate, I don't care. I would still be making these videos. I would still be doing all this because I truly believe in this stuff. I don't even want to call it stuff. You know, I don't like to say that, but I truly believe in this powerful herb, this powerful plant that has changed my life. All right, guys, let's get into it. All right, guys, so this is basically how I'm blending nowadays when I want to cut through the mate bitterness or I just want to enjoy a beautiful blend of yerba mate. Uh, this is what I do. This is what I call a blending kit. Essentially, it's a nice little stainless steel bowl. Of course, you could use anything. I'm just using a bowl right here. And I'm using right here a tablespoon, which is 15 milliliters. All right, guys, so what you do is this. Start off with some good mate. Uh, preferably organic mate. Lately, I've been doing a lot of blending with my buddies, Yerba Mate, Kraus, Kraus Organic Mate. Let me get a little clear picture there. Now, why do I use this mate lately? Because I recently visited my buddy Milton Kraus at his farm, and uh, I really got to see how this mate was made. I really got to see the deliciousness and taste the delicious deliciousness of it and i found that it's one of the the best mates out there for blending and especially if you're just starting to blend uh this is definitely good mate to start blending you could check out this mate more at yerbamateland.com so this is what you do get a bowl add some mate now i don't want to get crazy you know if you guys watch my videos years ago i used to be really precise with everything like all right you have to have exactly this amount of mate exactly this weight exactly these many grams i don't know i guess i'm evolving i don't think like that anymore it's just more like intuition so throw some mate in there i like organic mate all right let me get that a little clear zoom in it's real simple guys you take any herb that you like let me recommend some we have Peppermint here. I love peppermint. Cuts right through the bitterness. We have lemon peel. Let me smell that to make sure. Yes, yeah, so this is lemon peel. 
really nice. It gives it a little citrus tone, citrusy tones. Uh, licorice. Now be careful when you're blending with licorice because it's very, very sweet. So you don't need that much with licorice. Just use a little bit with licorice. Uh, right here we have lemon balm. Lemon balm is kind of interesting. It tastes kind of like a watered down apple Jolly Rancher. Uh, this is a nice herb to blend with. And one of my favorites right now. I'm in love with this herb. Absolutely in love with this sage. I'm going to make another video about just sage in a couple days or maybe a week or two. And uh, this is this is a powerful herb. Cuts through the bitterness. Uh, so these are just some herbs to think about. I definitely recommend all these herbs if you want to address the bitterness of yerba mate. Now moving along. You got yourself, I don't know, 40 grams of mate, let's call that. Throw that in there, right? Now, whatever you want to do, just have fun with it, guys. So what I like to do is, okay, we have some uh, peppermint here. Just take some peppermint. Boom, throw that in. This is some uh, lemon peel. Throw that in. No problem. Just have fun with it. Little bit of licorice, just a little bit. I'm not necessarily giving you a recipe here. I'm just giving you ideas. You could blend with any of these herbs in any combination you want. Throw a little bit of lemon balm, maybe a little bit of sage. Get yourself a spoon, mix that around. Boom, 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 boom. There you guys go. Now, if you were to drink this mate alone, it would be pretty bitter because Kraus is a pretty bitter mate, especially that version, version of Kraus. Now, if you were to drink this, what I just blended right here, wow, you'd be in heaven. It wouldn't be, and it would hardly, hardly be bitter. You would taste this, the the mint. You would taste the the orange peels. You would taste all the nice licorice. You would taste the sage, which is amazing. Be careful with the sage because the sage is a little bit explosive in terms of the strength of the of this herb. It's it's pretty pervasive, I would say. All right, now. Now that I gave you some ideas, I also want to address one thing before I finish this video. The Calabash Gourd. Guys, if you got yourself a Calabash Gourd, especially if it's new, you're going to get bitterness directly from this gourd. This gourd has compounds called cucurbitogens, which are actually a category of uh, compounds known as saponins. These compounds actually have highly beneficial uh, effects on the body. That's another discussion, but basically... This gourd is going to produce its own level of bitterness. Now, if you just got it, it's going to be more bitter. But if you had it for several months or even a year or two, there won't be any more bitterness. So keep that in mind. Bitterness is not just coming from the mate. It's coming from the gourd as well. So one way to get around that is don't use the calabash gourd. This is a squash plant from Argentina. You don't have to use this. Get yourself a, uh, a glass gourd, a ceramic gourd, a wooden gourd. Uh, and that alleviates the bitterness coming from this. All right, guys. So it's very simple. Just to recap, if you want to drink yerba mate and you love it, don't worry about blending it with other herbs because you think it's going to get weaker. No, not necessarily. If anything, you probably are boosting the health benefits of yerba mate. Um, uh, don't let the bitterness of the pure mate deter you from stopping to drink yerba mate. Uh, Based upon what I just told you guys, all you have to do is blend it with some of these sort of herbs, citrusy herbs, uh, lemon verbena, whatever you have that's available to you that you like. Remember, guys, have fun. I know some people get a little bit uh, anxious and a little bit worried when it comes to all the, the information about yerba mate. If you spend some time on YouTube, you're going to see tons and tons of videos I made over the years, and it might be a little bit overwhelming, I know. Uh, but remember, guys, the most important thing is just to have fun. Uh, relax, you know, clear your mind, clear your heart, clear your spirit. And just remember, guys, this is not a serious thing. This is just a really beautiful herb that the earth has produced for us. And I'm, we're just drinking it. We're just sharing it. We're just trying to feel good. We're trying to express ourselves with other people, the mate circle. And that's really it. There's nothing else more to it, guys. So if you have any questions, please feel free to comment in this video. If you're watching this on YouTube or you're watching this on circleofdrink.com, Maybe you're watching this on Facebook. I don't know. Definitely comment if you have questions, and I'll surely help you out. No problem. That's why I'm here. I love doing this. I love Yerba Mate. Uh, stay tuned for next week. Next week, I'm definitely going to drop another video about the pros and cons of different types of gourds, whether it's a calabash gourd or 
ceramic gourd or glass gourd. We're going to talk about the different types of wooden gourds, things like that. All right, guys, quick video. Dave Mate, uh, check us out, circleofdrink.com, yerbamateland.com. Find us on Facebook and uh, shoot us an email if you ever want to, you know, ask questions. We definitely got you on that. All right, guys, take it easy. Peace.